We're going to look at how to do a Zentangle pattern with step-by-step. -step. A lot of the Zentangle patterns that you'll find online are formatted similar to this one below. So as you can see in the first step, both lines are red, and that just shows you that that is your first thing you need to do. When you're Zentangling, if you're using Sharpies, you should use the Sharpie pen for drawing and then use the Sharpie marker for coloring stuff in. Don't use the Sharpie marker for drawing. So I'm going to get started and follow the first steps right here over onto my shape that I'm using. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly like that, you're just using it for an idea for the pattern. Okay, so then when I move on to step two, I can see that the lines that I already drew are in black. That means I already drew them and you don't need to worry about them. So now I'm just gonna follow the red lines that I see on there. Again, it's gonna look a little different based on the shape that you're trying to fill or the space that you're trying to fill. Okay, now when I look at step three, you can see the black lines that I already did are on there and I already have them on mine. So now I'm gonna look at our next directions. Okay, and then like I said, any big spaces to color in, you can use your Sharpie marker versus the Sharpie pen. Okay, looking at that, it's a little bit bumpy, so I'm gonna go with my Sharpie pen and just touch up my line. Okay, then I'm gonna continue to the fourth step and follow the rest of the directions. Most Zentangle patterns are laid out this way where you have something with one color and then the color changes once you do that step. However, some of them also just have one single color, but they will break it down into steps. Zentangle patterns usually look pretty difficult until you go ahead and break them down into the steps and you look at it in smaller pieces and then they're much more manageable and easy to do. Okay, once you have the pattern, you can go ahead and add extra things to it if you would like, or you can leave it the way it is. Um, if you wanna make some of the lines bolder, you could go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just add a little bit of a design. When my students do Zentangle patterns, I usually ask for them to try to have half of it colored in and half of it left plain. You absolutely do not always have to add extras, but it's kind of fun. Makes it look a little more interesting. And then I'm just going to continue on until I have it to a place that I like it. 